what's going on guys we're out here with the flymax 2 this is the 13 dollar 99 cent drone i picked up a couple weeks back we've already done our first look at it we'll drop the card for that right now and we're going to start off by just uh, powering it on here with the switch on the bottom we're going to drop it down there i've got the transmitter here self-binding it's bound now and what we're going to do is we're going to start off by testing some of the functions here so down and out to get it started we'll get it up there now this is a dx4 clone we got a little bit of breeze here so we're going to trim it out a bit here just get it all trimmed out just so it's hovering half decent all right so let's have a little look at it right here guys kind of a cool looking drone there it's pretty quiet so let's uh, take it out for a little spin. Let's take it out there. We got a pretty good pitch there on first rate. Not overly fast, but uh, decent. And we're just at a soccer field here, so we don't have a very large space here, say, to test in, but it's good enough for this test. So that's first rate of speed. Not bad, not bad. Let's check out the yaw right there. A uh, decent yaw rate for first speed and you can see they got red lights on the bottom there on the back and white on the front All right, so our Second rate of speed ah, A little bit quicker not overly quick Not much more than first rate there it Does move pretty good though All right, now we're gonna, we'll bring it back in, check out the yaw rate there in uh, second rate. Definitely a quicker yaw rate. All right, now we're gonna try third rate. All right, third rate. Ah, a little bit quicker, not overly quick though. So the rates of speed actually from first to third are not uh, significantly different than each other. The yaw rates were. But I think, you know what, for a beginner drone, this thing's not uh, not too bad. It's been flying, it's flying pretty good. Easy to control, well-labeled uh, transmitter. Let's bring it back in here. Let's check out the yaw rate there for, uh, for our third rate of speed. Definitely a faster yaw rate there, that's for sure. All right, let's uh, put in headless mode. Yeah, headless mode works pretty good. That functions correctly. We're going to take it Oh, Actually, let's pull it back. Actually, let's try to return the home now. We've hit return the home. And yeah, it's bringing it right back towards me there. Well, in the general direction, it's actually moving that way a bit. All right. We're going to take it out of headless mode. They were still in headless mode there. All right, let's try some uh, flips here, guys, while we have it. We're still in third grade. Now, I'm sure that was the flip button. Trying to figure it out here. No, not able to flip there. All right, I'm not able to figure out the flip button there. It should be doing it right there not working let's uh let's take it up a bit higher here the range is decent we're going to the other end of the soccer field there no issues it's very slow to climb though we're up decently high now seems to be handling the wind up there no problem So overall guys, uh, controllability and everything, great on this one. I have no, uh, no complaints. We're gonna bring it down now. And it's very slow to descend as well. I've got the stick right down and it's taking its sweet time to come down little bit concerning there i thought it would be a bit quicker than it is to come down but we made it we're down i'm gonna bring it to the landing pad here put in first rate there 
stereo and down and out on the sticks to shut the motors down. Now they got a takeoff and landing button here, but I think what we got to do is down and out on the motors and you can hit the takeoff landing button. Yeah, and that, that'll take off. Now for the landing, yeah, same thing, just hit the button and it brings it down. Okay, so that's all the functions that the transmitter does. There is a photo and a video button there, but we're gonna have to get hooked up to the app to, to take a look at that. All right guys, we're back out here with the Flymax and there's something I actually wanted to show you here. I'm just gonna put my phone down. It comes with this uh, proprietary battery. You can see the one cell connector there. Well, I'm gonna use uh, just a regular uh, one cell here. I actually have a little bit of Velcro because I use this one for other purposes but I've got the same connector on there and I just stick it in there and it fits great. And it's got the same connector on it. So I'm just gonna plug that in. So you can use just standard batteries with it, aftermarket batteries. And you can see that's not coming out. It's in there, it's good. And we're gonna power it up here. And this time we're going to actually uh, check out the camera. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna fire up the camera. We're gonna go down and out, fire up the motors, auto takeoff. We're gonna go into third rate and we're just gonna trim it up here a bit. There we go, that's a bit better. And we're gonna see how this uh, camera looks. Actually, it's pretty clear looking for what I see right now. I'm gonna get a little height on it there. I see there's somebody on the field, so we're gonna stay away from them. Decent, uh, and you can see I'm in third rate. The wind is uh, not allowing that drone to go as quick as it should be going right now. That's okay, we can handle that. A little bit of shakiness as expected, but for what I'm seeing on my screen right now, the quality of the camera actually is not too bad. All right, so let's get a couple pictures here. Let's try the transmitter this time. Yeah, picture worked. Fantastic, and we'll do it on this actual, do it on the phone here as well. Fantastic. We got some dark clouds coming this way. Oh, having a little bit of problem with uh, the control here. not responding very well you know what I think it might be interfering with the cell phone the cell phone may be interfering with it I'm just noticing it's not as responsive as it was before almost hit the trees there it's not responding that great guys I'm gonna bring it down all right guys we're back here again we were uh, having some issues there it was not uh, responding to the controls very well and uh, Thought we'd uh, set that up again. Okay, so we're gonna get in the Flymax app now. Again, I'm gonna start a screen recording. Gonna mount the phone. Actually, the phone fits nice on the on the transmitter there. This time, we're going to uh, put that camera maybe straight up there, and we're gonna see about getting some uh, some other shots here. This time, we're gonna maybe uh, uh, let's take off here. Fire it up. Auto take off. All right, now we're in uh, third rate here. It feels good right now. It's responding nice to the controls. So I don't know, just a little glitch there maybe. All right, so that camera actually is looking decent. We're gonna get the video started there. We're gonna take it up here and let's see. Uh... Now that yaw rate obviously is too fast for the camera to uh, keep up with, but we're gonna get it up here in the sky. There, just trimming it up a bit here. We're gonna take it out a little ways and see you over top of the school over here. Now it's supposed to have a range of 450 feet. Now right now I've lost, uh, not signal, but I've lost uh, transmission with, uh, with the Wi-Fi there. The drone itself is still uh, able to be controlled but I have zero uh, zero picture on my cell phone now and I'm only about maybe I don't know 60 70 meters away 
We'll see if it comes back, I'm not sure. It does say we're still recording on the screen. We'll bring it back closer to me. I'm gonna stop that recording. So we've turned that camera off now. And I'm gonna bring it down here a bit. We're not seeing anything on the app right now. So maybe what I'm gonna do is just let it hover there for a sec. We'll get out of the app completely here. And then we'll restart the app and see if uh, we can get it back uh, working again. Uh, so far guys, the controllability of this was questionable. It's flying great now. I may not have uh, had it on flat ground. We do have to uh, go back to the app here. And look at, there's no wind right now. It's just hovering nice. I am in third rate. And excuse me, I'm just getting my app set up here again. And we are connected to the Flymax app. We're going to get back to and I've got no, uh, no picture. So. We're gonna bring it back down here for one sec. Bear with me, guys. No, there's LVC. Now it does give you a warning, low battery. So we are getting a low battery warning. And it does seem to be uh, having a little issues with uh, controllability there. Not responding to Right now, it's kind of trying to almost fly away on me. It did auto land there, or trying to auto land. Yeah. Definitely uh, having some issues here with it, guys. I would have to say, uh, it's nice to get that low battery warning, and I'm getting it on the screen as well, but uh, I think uh, there's some definite issues with this drone, and for $13.99, can't really complain all right guys I thought I'd bring the Flymax 2 here back into the shop here and just uh, finish off this video so we just got in from doing the testing and there were definitely some concerns and some good stuff about this drone starting with the concerns uh, there were a few times during my uh, testing there where I thought this drone is actually gonna fly away on me it uh, was not responding to the transmitter. It was very delayed in its response. Now, I'm not sure if this was uh, had anything to do with it, but in behind me, I don't think you see it in the video, you may see it, there was a big uh, run of power lines going through. And that may have been, uh, may have been what was causing the interference maybe. Another negative was, I was about, it's not really a negative, I guess, it's kind of expected. I was about maybe 60, 70 meters away, and the video just froze right up. And I showed you that in the video, and I wasn't able to reconnect it. I actually had to uh, restart the drone and go through the whole process to get the video working again. Actually, one more thing that I couldn't get to work, I wasn't able to get the flip function to work. I was hitting the button correctly, and it wasn't working. Um, I did misplace my manual, and I haven't found it yet. It's in the shop here somewhere. Uh, as soon as I find it, I'll take a look at that, and when we do get it out again, I will uh, hopefully get this thing uh, flipping. Now to the positive. When this thing was working good, it was flying great. I uh, No issues. It was very responsive to the controls, and the range on it was actually uh, quite nice. I was able to put it up way up in the air, and it was quite windy out. And in third rate, it was handling it just fine. Now, we did do the rate testing, and there wasn't really that much of a difference from first rate to third rate but it was enough to handle the wind with very little issues now one thing I didn't like again was it was very slow to gain altitude and very slow to descend that caught me off guard I wasn't expecting that typically uh, the drones will go up and come down at a decent rate this one was quite slow now that might not be too bad for a beginner pilot. Uh, that might be something that's actually a positive for you. For me, it, it kind of it caught me off guard, let's just say. Uh, like I mentioned in the unboxing, a very positive thing about this drone is the transmitter. Everything is labeled so nicely. I was pretty much able to do uh, everything just by looking at the transmitter. Uh, only thing, like I said, was the flips. Uh, video and photos worked right off the transmitter. And the app actually wasn't too bad. Um, one thing I did like is the app does display, it has some telemetry. 
that displays your battery life of your drone. So you do see in the video, uh, when the drone is put into LVC, when we're uh, low on battery, it's actually flashing right on the screen there, showing showing me that, you know what, your battery's low. That, that was kind of cool. You don't typically see something like that with the toy grades. So we're definitely going to get the Flymax out for another flight. Uh, this time, we're going to be in a different location with less possible chance of interference. And I think those power lines may have been what was causing the issue with uh, the delayed response from the drone. We will see. Um, hopefully that's all it was. But for right now, we're going to leave it at that, guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.